All right. How's the mic over the uh, game volume? Is it good? Oh, it's a little bit quiet. I deleted my entire setup by mistake last night, so... Okay, just let me know if it's um, if it's too quiet. Multiplayer, eh? We'll have to see about um, setting up some streams to to play together later on. Graphics are better than I expected. I think I'm so used to seeing um, screenshots and videos of the old school Pikmin vid um, GameCube GameCube footage. Sign the pigmen don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. All right. Ah, 
Increase the speed of the rotation of the camera. I don't see it. Okay, so it turns like Zelda. So some of the Pikmin head this way. You could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them. All right, cool. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pups. Just need to press X. Okay. I wonder if maybe I should be using the um, the Joy Cons as two separate controllers for this. Anyone got any um, advice on that or? Find the mission ship parts. Be much easier for the Pikmin to help me. All right. What I want to know is, can you free him if you use the Joy Cons? Let's have a look. Let's reconnect them and we'll see. Hmm, they don't want to connect for some reason. Hang on a minute. Come on. Okay. Hmm, doesn't look like you can free him at all.
Why? Come on, Nintendo. Sprint and um, call Pikmin at the same time, it looks like. See some little guys under there. Yeah. Hang on, what's this do change his colour? Did he do different things or Nobody. Alright, sweet. Let's pick up these guys over here. a little bit quicker to be honest. Did we got him back, did we get him back? We need to pay attention to how many Pikmin we've got I suppose. supposed to get or is it just whatever you pick up on the way Oh. 
Is that it? Okay. Nice. I suppose this is the uh, training level, isn't it, really? Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately, finding the dispersed rescue corpse is now okay. Type, but it's only got girl haircuts.
Beautiful. and carries over to the main game when we start playing. Does, um... Is there any missables? Who's this little dude? Are Mohe Hale. Tish Nippo. Anilo. Nira. Mongano. I wonder if that's a little uh, callback to Commander Shepard. Hello? Yeah. Can you go? Tatalo? Yamo? Onyanong?
All right, so we can change shortcuts with with the net, with the uh, minus button. No worries. So it wants us to do it. Okay. Picture. Face. Beautiful. Nice. Hello, hello. Tani. Tunabe. Patalo. Come on, then, let's go down. Let's go. Can you go? So we've got sub levels. Bye. 
Hopefully we get to go on a proper mission once we've unlocked all these and that's not the end of the uh, the first part. So you got a journal. Nice. X to shake things loose with Otachi, okay. I might have to turn up the uh, overclock on my switch to help with these loading times, I think. Okay, so the underground bits are like little levels. Oh, 
Aupchi. Tunabe. So we need Sparklium. Okay, so it's like fuel. Got it. Right, so we need to find sparkly objects. Oh! 
Is that game by SP? <laughs> nice. Thunder. I was hoping there would be like a little emulator game that we could play on it. What are we supposed to do with this? So I think we need Pikmin to help with this, and I presume we do something with this flower, but I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with it. I got it. So we're going to need another eight, eight Pikmin, yeah?
Ah, uh, okay, I get it. Nice. Got a bunch of little fellas now. area. Let's see if we can move this Game Boy now. So we give them more, it's faster. Nice. Definitely seems like they've mixed some real language in there, like they did with um, Animal Crossing. Keep hearing little bits of Japanese and French.
Now your new nose is gone. Advancement for the um, for the SP. Yeah. A nice man. Um, Bioshock's one of those games that I've always said I'd play, and I've still not managed to play it. Did the. Um, <laughs> Update the control scheme on the the remastered version. Yamo? Yeah, I heard that the, um, I can't remember who it was, somebody a while ago was talking about the series saying that they desperately need a, an update because they're amazing games, but the controls are very 2000, 2005, whenever it came out. It was probably 2010 or something, was it, when it came out, but we're talking, it's pretty old school. Supposedly an amazing game, though. Oh, so you have played the original, I get you. Yeah, I can't remember why I skipped over them back in the day. I think maybe, um... Maybe the aesthetic just didn't appeal to me back then or something. I think there was a lot of uh, FPS looking... I mean, obviously I know it's not an FPS, but... Lots of FPS looking, sort of dingy looking games Father? back then, and um, I think I just wrote it off. Yeah, that um, tends to happen, doesn't it, with the, the newer ones, unfortunately. It was the same with Mass Effect 3 for me. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't the same. I haven't played anything beyond Mass Effect 3 because... Uh, I didn't hear great things. One and two were amazing games, though. What did they do to Andromeda to make it uh, different? For me, the um, the third one didn't. It didn't feel the exploration didn't feel the same. It wasn't quite as interesting in that respect. And they obviously they had to tighten up the controls, but it felt less um, more run and gun and less thought. I quite liked stasis and stuff in the old ones, you know, but then in the new one it just felt like an FPS. Which is fine, but that's not why I enjoyed the originals. I used to like driving around the planets, you know, the little side game type thing where you look for minerals and digging on the planets and stuff. That was probably one of my most uh, enjoyed elements of the game, and then they sort of removed that stuff the further they got with the series from what I saw.
All right, fair enough. In that case, I might pick it up and give it a shot at some point. The um, the endings in Mass Effect Three was what ruined it for me. It was uh, changing the color of the background a tiny bit. It seemed like a, a very lazy way to tell us it was. It was just lazy, wasn't it? Fifteen hundred units of sparkly and finish the day. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Well, hey. How oh, they do that, they bring some elements back in Andromeda, do they? Hey. Oh nice, I'll, I'll definitely pick it up at some point then. Games like that are going to have to go on the back burner, unfortunately. Um, need to focus on the channel and on... Um, the streams and stuff, so I think games that are current are probably a better idea for now, but once things are up and running then we can maybe head back, look at some older games. Hang on a minute, let's have a quick look around here before we leave. What happened to all our Pikmin anyway? Where are they gone? Oh, has it just reset the level? Because we've already done this, I presume. Let's quickly try and um, get a couple of Pikmin and see whether there's any point or not. There's, um, the, because we've already gotten all of the, the shinies here, there's probably um, no point in carrying on. We should head to the next zone, I'm guessing. You can scan planets for minerals in um, Andromeda. I'll definitely have to um, give it a look. Do they bring things like stasis back and give them a, a reason? I think the problem was they tightened up the combat and sped it up so much that... Um, Things like stasis just felt a little useless. You could just run through and kill everything with guns. Three abilities. I can't remember what the um, what the amount was on the old school ones. Is three a lot in comparison, or? Nice, um, I'll keep an eye on Steam and when it's on sale I'll pick it up. Unless there's a keyboard and mouse option for the console, then maybe I'll grab it on the PS5. Mark, 
Ako, nako? Habe? So. Okay, so we can take our Pikmin to different levels. Nice. Hello, hello! Honey! So these raw materials are for random stuff, okay. Oh really, I was expecting that to be a no, so you can use a keyboard and mouse on Andromeda. I'll definitely pick it up on the console and that makes it a lot easier for me to stream. I can crack the settings up without worrying about uh, performance dips and stuff. Beautiful. It might even be on PS Plus. Oh, you just meant in general. Yeah, I know you can use it on the PS5. It just depends on the game. You have games like Final Fantasy XIV on there, so you definitely can on the... Uh, just in general. So if you throw a Pikmin near something, will you automatically pick it up? Or? Do they not automatically come back? Ah, okay, you could have picked them up afterwards. Where did that enemy go? There he is. Oh, we may need to turn off um, the 18 thing on the channel while I'm playing this game, I'm not sure. I think there's probably going to be some lower age teenagers who want to watch this game, probably, I'd imagine. Just have to try and watch the old uh, 
It'll damage a little bit, I think. You've got to actually target the thing, okay. I mean, I'm not saying anyone's lying. I don't think that for a second, but I feel like that's probably not 100% true. Um, I, don't, I doubt you get banned for, for swearing when there's a kid in the chat. I don't think swearing's in 18 year old Like, swearing's in movies for 12 year olds and stuff, so. How old have you got to be to create a kick account? Surely you've got to be 13 or something, no? I'll have a look into it, I'll do a bit of research and if you're right then of course, but um, I feel like that's probably... Hey Evan, how's it going? What do you mean, um, you knight? You mean you created an account with a different age for your cousin? Have you um, played Pikmin before, Evan? I got you on you. I mean, I don't care if somebody's, you know, if somebody turns up with a stream and they've created an account, which is, it's nothing to do with me if they've done that. Um, but. I, think, I feel like a game like this, with this aesthetic, there's probably quite a few people that are maybe like, you know, in the the younger ages that want to see the game. I don't necessarily um, want really, really young ones watching the stream, but I don't think people who are 15, 16, 17 should be um, excluded because of a few swear words here and there. It's probably a bit, a bit much. Seven. Well, this is my first ever playing Pikmin, so you can um, you can school me. Yeah, I am. Um, I'll be able to have a look at compatibility online. I think on your night. It takes quite a bit of effort, doesn't it? For um, well. That doesn't really take a lot of effort, but by their standards, not many, um... Hello? Not many creators, not many uh, developers will put keyboard and mouse support in for console games, unfortunately. Especially if there's an online aspect, obviously, because it's... It makes it a bit unfair. What do you mean, Evan? Um, I'm actually going to be covering so this playthrough, this this game, providing there is content that warrants um, guides. I'm going to be making Aww. guides again for this video, for this um, for this game. Sorry. Hopefully, this game is not so easy and so um, obvious that we can create some decent content for it. Oh, <laughs> 
you mean never you seen somebody's already made that video and I should make a sequel to it? Because that would I don't want to poach somebody else's idea. Um, I'm just learning about it myself. Onion Knight. Evan probably would be better off telling you what it's about. But so far, we're, um, we shipwrecked on a planet and we're using these little Pikmin dudes to try and get the rocket back together so we can leave the planet. But I'm still unlocking all of the mechanics at the minute. Evan, before with what you were saying, has, are you saying somebody's already created that video, or...? Ah, oh, nice, okay, so that's healthy, Doug. Seven is still my game. What do you mean, brother? Have you been playing it, have you? Oh, I see what you're saying. Is it? Beautiful. Let's get that updated. I don't think OBS has the uh, function to to update it like it does for YouTube, unfortunately. Cheers, man. I appreciate that. Now I've just got to remember how you even do it. I think I'm going to head over to the dashboard, haven't I? For some reason, it doesn't want to load. Let's open a new browser. Beautiful. Sorted. 
for some reason the um, the different panels like to disappear in different instances of my browser. It's it's a bit random. That's all gravy. Came out. I wonder if that means we've got Max, Max Pikmin now. <laughs> Come on, help them, you little. Look at these lazy little bastards. and throw them over this wall. Nah. Suppose we probably need to go down that hole to get over there. Let's give it a blast. Should we go with just 16 Pikmin or should we go and pick the rest up? Let's just go. Bank off. What, um, what does bank off mean? Cause so we gotta go and fight a little snowy dude. Oi! Your um, American terminology is lost on me, mate. in Spanish. Do you speak um your Espanol or No. Yeah, I don't know which parts of um America have the the large Spanish communities, to be honest. I'm not that clear up on that stuff. Get him. Rip. It still means nothing to me, uh, Kai. I don't really know where Ellie is uh, geographically. I know where um, Maine is because my brother lives there, but that's it. I think I get what you're saying there. You don't get out of yourself. Are? 
So is he gonna become a big boy now? I'm confused. Then you just say that you're gonna grow up. Let's compare these to the other ones. See if they oh they've got flowers now, yeah, okay, I get it. don't like cutesy stuff kinda. <laughs> Have you not played Animal Crossing before? I'm not ashamed to say that I was uh, pretty addicted to that year in Lockdown 1. I can play Doom and tear things apart one minute and then play Animal Crossing and do nothing at all the next minute. Oh, you like Animal Crossing nice man. I haven't played it for ages. I wish they would... Um, I wish they would just put a little game in, like, just a little bit of a loop in there that includes some sort of battle or something like that. Then I'd, um, I'd enjoy it a lot more, I think. I've seen that there's a new game people are making that is similar to Animal Crossing with some fighting in, but it, it seems very, uh, very basic. I played the GameCube version, nice man. I've had a little bit of the 64 version, but nothing like, I played the first five minutes. But the um, New Horizons, I played the shit out of that. I think I played it oh. twice, actually. I got bored the first time because I um, I played the stock market and basically covered the entire of my the entire island in um, in turnips, and I had like I don't know how many millions of money, and there was nothing left for me to really do that in that respect. So. Look like ice and water, okay. Aww. This we're gonna go and harvest this dude's organs for uh, for energy to fly the ship. So it's it's not that cute too. Rune Factory, hang on, Rune Factory. Someone was talking to me about Rune Factory the other day. That, um... That person that we were talking about in, who was in our chats, I don't know if you heard about it, but um, I'm pretty sure that's who was talking about Rune Factory, actually. Ah, right. Is that, is that the one that was recently in a... Uh, a direct, or is that a different one? Rune Factory's a series, isn't it? There's like four of them or something like that. I wouldn't mind that. At some point, if we knew some people who were interested in playing, a few of us played or something, I'll be game for that. Why is this dog not respond sometimes? Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Do we have to push a button to make him work or something? there's a way of calling these back without having to um, run all the way back every time. Hmm. 
Maybe not. Maybe that's part of the main game loop. I guess we'll see later on, maybe. <laughs> so it looks like maybe they can only level up so much. I guess you won't be allowed to send double the Pikmin that it needs, maybe? What's the uh, 8 out of 5, Evan? These dudes can do it. Found one of our little buddies. Nice. Hale. Did we go down into the hole? We did, didn't we, I think? I can't oh. remember. Like, how we're in the hole. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice, sounds like we're gonna get more abilities and stuff.
on the outside will automatically come with us. Nice. say 100% progress is 0% over 100% I'll 0 to 100% got it Sure, I synchronize your clock, Phoenix, but something's off. No. All right, so time slow down in the holes. Beautiful. New car. All right, so there's a timer. Nice. Um, so how do we check if any Pikmin are missing? I should be running back, shouldn't I? But I don't really know where I'm going. Um, I'm going to try going down... There's still items to collect as well. Um, hmm. I don't know if we can make it if we try and run back now. So maybe we should try going down the hole and seeing if it restarts the timer. You can't act a cave. Okay. I guess we're going to run out of time. We'll see what happens when the timer runs out at least. No. I mean, we lose all the Pikmin. Okay, uh, maybe because they were in our party sort of thing, they didn't get lost. Kai, when you came over, you didn't raid me, did you? So I wonder how this day and night cycle works then. 
Are we on a... Yeah, I didn't either, Onion. It was just because, um... I didn't... I wasn't 100% sure. And, um, I wanted to make sure I'd actually said... Hello and thank you and things, you know. But, um... I guess we just got Aww. viewers just by... Just by being live, which is good. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Ready. Copy so we can use the rocks to make stuff. Okay. random thought but I've just realized we're gonna be able to 3d print food soon now that we're growing meat in labs and stuff I mm, being a, a chef or an ex-chef I don't know <laughs> if I'm ever gonna eat lab grown meat to be honest but it's pretty cool that that's actually happened in our lifetime yeah some Star Trek shit One no What you were uh, surprised by on your night by my random musings or something on screen. Makes sense, doesn't it? But we can, we can three D print things with like, a, um, with a liquid which becomes a solid. So, I mean, we probably already are three D printing some food somewhere. Someone's probably done it somewhere. But now that we're literally, I think in America they've just um, okayed lab grown meat. So, tons of things as well, like you know, chicken nuggets and all those sorts of things. They're processed meat. They're just sludge with fake batter on the outside so you be able to go to a machine and have a, pr a chicken nugget 3d printed it's still gonna be a while though i'd imagine because they need to 3d print the nugget then they need to cook the nugget it's not like you could do it in i suppose you'd yeah it wouldn't be instant but you could have them prepared in advance sort of thing gonna happen but trust me you could probably say it already is happening couldn't you because all those nuggets are made in factories they're basically being 3d printed pipe some sludge into a circle and then fry it beautiful yeah man So basically, when we're out, we need to bring back crystals for the for the nerd to make us stuff. Got it. Let's have, let's have a chat with the nerd. Tissue 
I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day. Okay. So what do these do? Press X and this horn will order Pikmin to charge. It sounds pretty cool. Fireproof fabric, okay. Fireproof fabric for the dog. Ice proof and ice proof for the dog, okay. Um, hey, look how many materials we've got. Beautiful. We're gonna leave that stuff for now. I want it. In fact, no. Let's take. Let's take the horn. Um. I want to see if we can get by without spending our crystals on Scorch Guard or not. It doesn't protect the Pikmin, so I'm not really too worried about it. Let's take the horn. Do we get it instantaneously? Yeah. All right, let's give it a blast. So Nice. So if we tell them to charge at this, will it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. She's gonna train the dog, is she? So she's telling us we can train the dog. Buff. Nice buffs and stuff. This is uh, more in depth than I imagined it would be. Bye. So buffs and attack. Okay. I'm still accidentally using PlayStation controls. Come on. Um. So he can carry things up to five. Does more damage. Less charge time. Heal himself. Use a skill to tell your partner to go to your base or to call them to you. Is it only for the dog? Um, let's go with damage. And we'll lower the time it takes to charge. Um, no, we won't. Yeah, okay. Push right on the D pad and then throw items. Got it. first level. Hang on a minute. Are we back here because this is like the this is like the, the main area isn't it where we choose to deploy from sort of thing.
All right, let's go on a mission. to uh, kick as well. I'm thinking I probably should. Uh, not kick as well. Twitch. I know that they don't allow you to multi-stream, but just for pulling in extra people, it might be a good idea. You don't think so? It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty busy platform in comparison. I mean, I used to stream to Twitch a long time ago. It was very brief, but years ago, I did a bit of uh, Ocarina of Time speed running, but nothing serious. Jump and ride the dog now. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I think it obviously depends. If I was to go into a. If I was going to start streaming a game like COD or any of the games that are popular, it's obviously going to be way too saturated unless you've already got a following. But, um. I think if you choose the correct games at the correct times, you could you could definitely be discovered. But I hear you. There's going to be some boobies on my stream anyway, isn't there, once, the, uh, once my model's finally finished. Cartoon boobies, but boobies nonetheless. So hang on. Can we use Pikmin while I'm riding? On the, riding on the dog or not? How do we jump? Okay. Well, yeah, my original. Have you know? Have you not seen my um my YouTube channel model? Like in my this little dude in the corner now is just a. Uh, I gave up on waiting. This is just a. Well, I'm called Squared Phoenix, and he's not square to begin with. But um. Yeah, my main character. She's called Fina, and. She has a little square phoenix dude, who is who I will be using to control and speak with. My main channel on YouTube's always had Fina talking, so a, fe a female voice. Um, but long story short, yeah, I'm gonna be sitting on her, on her boobies as you call them, while I'm chatting and stuff. Hang on a minute. Um, Fina. I mean, you've probably seen the version of her with the Moogle that I had in the corner of the screen. But, um... This... That's a big one. That's a big one. This is my main avatar off my channel. We'll just shrink her down a bit. And that on her head that she's wearing as a hat is me, basically. So when it's done, it'll be something like that. Probably slightly, slightly different aesthetic, but it's going to be her with, with me. And then eventually down the line, I'll probably, um, I'll probably set up her. The TTS where she, the text to speech where she can uh, join in on the chat and stuff. Is 
that a good dam or a bad dam? Oh, okay, we can pull our Pikmin back out, of course, that makes sense. I was wondering why we had none. What's going on here? How do we bring the Pikmin out? corner of the screen there's a is that our maximum of pikmin in the bottom right corner that i'm covering with my wing Yeah, if I do a design done for, I don't know how long, very, very long time, I've actually got a, a 3D model made of her that I can use for, um, as my VTuber in the bottom right corner. I got it done by a professional, but it's, I don't really like the 3D art style of, uh, so hang on a minute, if we send these, can we send these Pikmin back up and then get some more by using those little pucks, or are they going back to the ship? 51. Let's try sending one one, see if it um, increases to 52. Yeah, anyway, um, I've got an, art, an artist. I've got an artist designing a model um, for her, but they're, t they're dragging the feet. It's taken a very long time. So I gave up and decided just to grab this model to keep me going, sort of thing. Has this increased? 53, yes it has. Okay, nice. But this is confusing, so this is the level we've already done. Does that mean you can just keep returning to levels and, um, and just get in the Pikmin over and over again? That seems a bit overpowered. Pikmin, um, you could play the old ones on the Xbox if you emulated. Because the Xbox is a pretty good emulator. But um, this one... Can the Xbox emulate Switch? It might be able to if you've got the high-end one. But um, it's a Nintendo exclusive officially. What's this all about? Just let me in. Uh, maybe we should be leaving space in case we get a new type of Pikmin down there. I think I get it. Okay. Series S. You'll definitely be able to emulate the GameCube one. Pikmin in the GameCube. Um, 1, 2, and 3 are on the GameCube. And actually 3 might be on the Wii. But you'll definitely be able to emulate the Wii as well. Um, trying to think, Series S. Which one's Series S again? Series S, the second newest one. And Series X is the, the most powerful one. I don't know if I got that wrong. I haven't played Xbox since the 360. The Xbox One put me off since it looked like a VCR. I decided not to bother getting one. Or getting one. So, oh, how do we charge? Oh, 
Oh, if you've got a fully modded Wii, then you'll definitely be able to play. The Wii was uh, amazing for modding, eh? So easy to mod. Did you use the uh, the letter bomb method? So are they gonna go now and get the thing? Nice. Yeah, you should definitely be able to play it, man. The um It's quite a popular game. I, I never played, I didn't play any of the old ones, this is my first time playing, but um, it's one of the, the more popular games. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't kept up to date on the um, Wii modern scene, but I don't see how you could, how it could be done any easier, it was so simple. It kind of ruined playing the Wii for me back in the day because I had access to so many games after I modded it that I kind of lost interest. I suddenly had every game that existed which just put me off playing any game longer than five minutes, it was weird. To be fair, a lot of the Wii games were pretty poor though. Obviously the, Nin the Nintendo, um, the Nintendo creator games were amazing but... Any other game from a series, like let's say a card or whatever, they were just they were just rubbish, weren't they? Beautiful. You get a lot of games on a 64 game thumbstick for for a Wii. Yeah? new stuff or is it just are they already maxed? Something like that. So this is for leveling up ice dudes, okay, okay. Yeah I don't know, I'm not sure if Pikmin 2 and 3 came out on the Wii or not, but the Wii can uh but the game's just fine on it, so you should be good with the Wii either way. Where's the doggo? We gotta go and get him. Can you climb? No. Okay, I get it. He's not allowed up here, fair enough. Ah, we can switch between Pikmin with our mark, but my um my camera for the uh, for my model in the corner is slightly in the way on my screen. I'll have to sort it out at some point. Let's head around here and grab the doggery. I've only just realised that I can take damage. Interesting. Is it because they can't get by? Okay, I got it.
I wonder if the dog's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. Go into a hole within a hole. It's crazy. So no swimming. How do we get over there? We did say we can craft something new. I wonder if... Nah, he was talking about that wall, wasn't he? Can I swim? So the ice guys can come. Nice. We need nine of them apparently. Where are the rest of you over here? Oh, I misunderstood. Okay. do this. Can't imagine that, uh, that jump's not going to make it, is it? Is it really that simple, is it, Jojo? Georgia, even? Yeah, it's showing it there, isn't it? Beautiful. Nice one, Georgia. I don't mind, um, I appreciate the help since we're just playing the start of the game. When we get far into the game though, um, unless I mention that I'd like some help, um, I'd probably prefer if people didn't, but right now it's, it's fine, thank you, I appreciate that. Not to sound ungrateful or anything. Probably could have just said no backs eaten, but I don't want to sound like a dickhead.
Come on, little guys. All good, bud. I appreciate the, um... The help. <laughs> Come on. Especially with something dumb like that, where I'm just being an idiot. It's not like it was a real puzzle, really, was it? I was just, uh... I'm not used to the, the mechanics in this game yet, and how things work. This is the demo, but we're going to be playing the real thing very, very soon. I'm going to be, um... As soon as midnight hits in New Zealand, I'm going to be doing 24-hour stream. Yeah, this is the demo, but the, um, the progress carries over to the full game. <laughs> Which releases in, what, 30 hours or something like that? It might even end up being more than 24 hours, to be honest, because what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to play as soon as it releases. But I'm also going to have some gameplay recorded, so when I go to bed, I'm just going to, um, carry the playthrough on, on the stream and then carry on the next day, sort of thing. That's the plan, we'll see how my computer handles streaming and recording at the same time. What's he doing? Alright, cool. playing this when it comes out, Georgia. Hi, Aiden, how's it going? So we'll check we've got everything and then we'll head back. It looks like there's something up here. Oh, there's a little dude who needs rescued. Nice. Yeah, we're on YouTube also at the moment. Um, Onion Night. The, um... There's there's an icon next to people's names to show where the uh, where they where they're chatting from. Maybe we just throw it from the higher platform. There's a shiny up there as well. Nice. The controls are a bit weird. I need to get used to this. Um, platforming is usually something I'm pretty good at, but.
There's probably a mechanic to pull that down that I'm not aware of. Do we shoot the web or something with a new ability when we get it, or...? I think for now we can just cheat and then jump and throw, but... Doesn't let you throw while you're in the air, that sucks. I want to get as close to the edge as I can and see if it allows us to throw it. Um, yeah, my YouTube channel is Squared Phoenix as well, but... I'm going to be creating guides for this game as well on there. I've got a pretty big following on YouTube. Well, by my standards, it's pretty big. I'm still small, but a lot more than I've got over on streaming. So how do we reach this guy now? All right, so we've got other people we can rescue as well. Nice. Yeah, for the people in the YouTube chat who haven't already picked up on it, um, I'm streaming on Kick as well. So there's quite a few people in chat over there. I had someone in YouTube chat the other day, um, someone who actually follows me on YouTube, uh, on Unite, he came in and he thought it was a pre-recorded video because he was like, there's nobody in chat but everyone's chatting on screen, what the hell is going on? I had to go and explain to him that I wasn't, uh, that I wasn't just playing a pre-recorded video. These guys singing. I think we're done down here now. Is there a list somewhere that tells us, um... That tells us how many treasures there are in each hole or anything like that. Yeah, I think we're done down here. 
And uh, any Pikmin that we don't have come up is automatically apparently, so we should be good. Never mind, I've gone the wrong way anyway, we'll take them. Yeah, I don't know how well that's going to work, what I was talking about earlier on. Um, the whole recording in advance and then streaming while I'm asleep, so there's a constant stream going, but we'll give it a shot. As soon as I find some content that I want to make a guide on, that's going to slow me down anyway, to be fair, so... I want to try and, um... I want to try and create videos while we're streaming. It's tough for me though, because usually I get a bit too sucked into making a high quality video, so I want to spend like many, many hours editing a three minute video, but I need to try and get out of that habit. I suppose if we do it during the stream and we leave the chat up open in the stream as well, um, it's free advertising for the stream because people will see it on the videos that we're clearly streaming now. Yeah? Could be a good tactic. Okay, so we probably get this down the same way as before. Beautiful. See what else we've missed. I think there was another underground area actually that we haven't done yet. I see a little guy up there we can kill. Turn him into fuel. Flame-resistant Colosseum, we can't have the dog will be on fire. I guess we've already leveled up. Dig this up with the dog, maybe? So we've got crystals there and here. It's a shame that it, um, after you've done that sprint, it slows you down. Like it stops you on the spot because we could have used that to travel a bit quicker. 
seems kind of bad. Yeah, it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of shit. over here before we won't get our Pikmin back. Can we sneak up on this guy? He walks slowly. out the attack or not? Flash. Okay, let's go. Can we, um, can we jump over here or is it too big of a jump? No. Okay. We need to build the bridge with the, with the okay, got it. time <laughs> might as well grab a couple of flowers while we uh while we wait on this timer Is there any noise coming through the microphone, like a pneumatic drill or anything like that? Seems like they're doing some um, some works outside. Nice one on your net. Um, yeah, I've got I've got some various filters applied to the mic, so it should block it out. But I just wanted to double check. Yeah. 
Um, let's have a look and see what this new guy does. So a drone for scouting, that sounds pretty cool. Treasure gauge, sounds useful, but we'll save our points for something more interesting. Yeah, we'll just save our points for now. Alright, I saw quite a few treasures kicking around on um, on this level, so maybe we'll rebuild that rebuild that bridge and stuff. Skip this cutscene. Let's ignore the Pikmin for now, and we'll see what uh, what we can find new. There's a strawberry over there. There's another underground level. We'll come back for that once we've gotten some more treasures. Thank <laughs> you. 
Time goes more slowly, doesn't it, when we're down in the uh, underground areas, so we should definitely head back and do that before um, before the end. Okay, we got a ton of crystals over here, nice. Bunch of more Pikmin. Let's head back to the bridge and get everyone back on. There's a treasure here as well, nice. It's a shortcut, yeah. <laughs> I think this might have been quicker with some Pikmin to help. Let's go back and get the rest of them. I think um, we're only allowed to take 30 out at a time, but if we grab a few extras, it, it lets us take more. So we'll quickly grab these extras and then we'll head back and get the rest of that treasure, I think. Maybe not. Early well I'm sure we had extra. Maybe that's because we got them from underground actually. That's, that's probably what happened. Twenty eight, who's missing? Okay, halfway through the day already, wow. So there's a button for reverse time. Um 
but I think that might be sort of like, um, you know, Nintendo likes to add options for gamers who are a bit stuck kind of thing. I prefer to do it myself without, um... Without help, so... I don't need night, yeah, it's all good, man. I just realised what you said, sorry. It's no problem at all, mate. with a new ability later by the looks of it. So many, um, so many things to do. Let's grab these gems. Start slowly making our way back. for now. Hang on, did I just see Pikmin over there? We're running out of time. Let's grab a few, um, a few of these crystals and head back. Nope, we'll get them later, I suppose, as well. Yeah. 
How long have we got? Let's try and get a couple of more things quickly. Imagine what that 13 in the, in the corner means. Does that mean that we've needed to pick those ghosts up? I thought they automatically went back to the ship. We've gone the long way out here, haven't we? It's not good. Those dudes. Damn, I don't think that counted. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? We're, um, we're going to carry on the Final Fantasy Marathon, but I figured we'd squeeze some Pikmin in while we can. Um, do we want to rewind? Nah, it kind of feels like cheating to me, that. If anybody in the YouTube chat um, has a user's kick and has a minute to hit follow on kick, that would be a big help to uh, help us get, get to the point where we can start using kick and be monetized. No pressure though. Yeah, the binoculars didn't count, okay. How are you doing, Irene? You good? <laughs> Something new, what we got? Paralyzed mobs, HP, and a bone for the. We'll definitely take the bone for the doggo. Oh, 
Hello. No worries on your night. You're uh, you're uh, um, a man in need. So yeah, let's see if what we can see if we can train there. Uh, train our doggo up anymore. We've got two, we need three for the next chomp. I think we'll wait. I've just realised we've nearly got the uh, 1500. Hopefully that doesn't force you to uh, to stop playing. We'll see what happens. Harmon. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So you can leave things halfway there. Try out this swimming technique then. Freeze this water first, don't we? Um, we don't have enough icy dudes yet. Yeah, we 
we're gonna need to freeze the water before we can do anything over here, I think. Maybe we'll go on, um... We'll go and do one of the underground areas and see if we get some more ice dudes. Okay, we'll head down, but we don't have the fire gear, so it could be, uh, could be a bit spicy. yellow ones. Nice, I wonder if these guys are uh, good for the electricity. Hey Jimby, how's it going man? Good at digging, good at flying high, good with electricity. seem pretty quick, don't they? What? 
Alright, let's head back and get our Pikmin. Guys, going? Are they going to get the rest? <laughs> nice. So the electric area will lead up here, that's fine. <laughs> I guess that's a one-man job. A one-pikmin job. This is my first time as well there. Uh, my first time, Jimmy. I always, when I saw it back in the day on GameCube and stuff, just presumed it was like, um, like a little kid's game or something, you know? And then I heard apparently it was good, which, to be honest, so far it seems like it is going to be pretty good. Um, is this? Okay, it's working. Busy boy, onion night. Yeah, I think we're done down here now. We could really use some more, um, some ice pinkmen. I wonder if we need to go back to one of the old dungeons and get some that way, or whether we can just get them, um, organically as we go. 50% progress, did that just say? Ah, okay, because there's another floor. Got it. Yeah.
All right, that's our new guys leveled up. So these guys are fire resistant. Nice. I've just realised um, last night I was in OBS messing around with settings <clears throat> and uh, my main scene, the one you're looking at now, the stream scene, I accidentally hit delete and then I control Z'd it to undo the delete and OBS crashed um, and then I reopened OBS to see if I could fix it. If I hadn't reopened OBS I could have fixed it, um, but it was too late at that point. Okay. Anyway, long story short, I redid it all before I went to bed, but I forgot to put all the notifications and things on, so... Um, if anyone subbed or anything, then... Uh, the notifications won't show today, but I'll, I'll get it all fixed for tomorrow. Oh, you've got another person to mod for soon, have you, um, Onion Knight? What's this thing in the middle? Is that a... Is that a sweet potato? Up there, we got a burger now as well. Beautiful. Hang on a minute. Did those Pikmin just die? I wonder if we get them back or if they're just dead for good now. Hey Aaron, welcome back. How was it? What did you have? Make me jealous with your Japanese food. Got it this time, nice. I 
doesn't sound particularly Japanese, bread and eggs. Okay, so we got the burger. We got the slug patty thing. Um, I think we got everything. Have a quick scout and then we leave. Does anybody know if those Pikmin that died are gone for good now or? How's my day been? Yeah, it's been it's been pretty good I know. Just um got up, had a cup of coffee and then started streaming basically. Unfortunately the last few days I've had some um I think I mentioned this to you the other day, but I've had some real life stuff I had to sort out unfortunately, so my stream hasn't been up the last couple of days, but we should be back for um back streaming for quite a few days in a row now. I'm going to be making some tutorials for Pikmin as well. And then um, and then after that we'll um, we'll go back to the Final Fantasy Marathon. I am an FM Wave Flyer. You said yes. Is that um, they're dead for good now? Is that what you're saying? That sucks. I'll have to um, I'll have to learn what what kills the Pikmin so we uh, keep them alive. So when we grow new ones, do we are we getting back the ones we've lost or are we just growing random ones? As in, for every one we lose, can we regrow that specific one? Is that what you're saying? Or Have we unlocked the ability to grow them as well or will they just grow by the ship or something like that? Thanks for the info, by the way. Oh, wow. How long do we have? We're still only halfway through the day. Nice. The ball. Puff. Hang on, you can reorganize your squads without going back to the ship, can you? Or does it just mean... Ah, I see what it means, okay. Now we're good. What are these guys doing? Come on. So we've done that one because there's a flag by it. Need the onion enemies and pellets. When you say the onion enemies, do you mean the uh, ones that look like a closed flower? Almost like that thing over there. Head back and grab the Pikmin, and then we'll jump down this hole. Halfway through the day, so we've got we've got a bit of time left. I did see in um, one of those onion things earlier on, but it was out of reach. I think it said we need to come back when we've um, when we've unlocked something new, like a new ability or something. This one looks cool.
So we feed the onion enemies pellets, is that what you're saying? Or did I misunderstand? I don't think I've seen any pellets yet. So we can control Otachi. Nice. One no. No. So presumably that changes the direction of these things. Can we get across them anyway? No. Okay. So that's pointless. We can't do anything with it facing this way. We'll turn it back around. Feed the onion enemies and pellets. There are unnumbered flowers. Um, oh, those are the pellets. The number, the like hockey puck things with the numbers on. Got you. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. But aren't they just infinite anyway, those um, things? I thought that you could just take the pellets and grow new ones anyway, rather than... What's going to happen here? Okay, yeah. Um, so what I'm saying is you can just grow them anywhere whether you've lost any or not. Is that not, is that not right? Um, right, so... I don't think we can get through here, can we? Let's go touch you. No, okay. We should probably do this later, it's gonna take forever. Let's, um... Switch back. This could be bad. It looks like Otachi's stuck there. Um, there must be a way around it. There's no way there'd be a bug this bad at this point in the game already. Can we sprint over this maybe? Okay, nice. change this anyway to help uh, we could have just sprinted across with him on our back with uh, a little fellow on our back but we may as well just uh, change the direction why not Can these guys carry the skateboard through, or is it too big? No, oh, okay, we're gonna have to change the, uh, change the direction of the thing. Oh, 
I like these um, dungeons like this. They're kind of like uh, shrines in Zelda, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it seems like it's going to be good. This is obviously just the start of the game, so it's quite basic, but, um, this is the first puzzle level, and this is the first puzzle level, and it's, um, it's not incredibly complex, but if this is the first one, I would imagine they're going to get more interesting as time goes on. Are? Did I change that back? I'm done. One second. Okay, <laughs> Pikmin can activate it, I didn't realize that. I think we're done down here now. I take it, have you ever played um, Pikmin before, Iron? Alright, are we done? Yeah, I think we've got everything. It still says 50% for some reason. Alright, we've got another level. Nice. Why is that? So, what was the button again that brings up our, um... Oops. <laughs> what have we done? Expecting that, I didn't mean to use that, but at least we know what it does now. Boy. Ducky, nice. That's beautiful. Let's try and catch this guy. <laughs> so 
So, there's a little fella that we want to rescue over here. Let's have a look down here and see if there's anything down here that can help. Toy train over here as well, beautiful. Did we rescue? Um, so, when I'm finished with the Final Fantasy Marathon, um, well, I mean, while I'm doing the Final Fantasy Marathon, I'd probably squeeze other games in as they're released. There's certain games like Star Wars and stuff that I definitely want to play. Did I just throw them all down the hall? No. <laughs> uh, we just lost a load of Pikmin there. That's not good. Why does it automatically start turning on the camera? Anyway, yeah, so once I've, um, once we finish the Final Fantasy Marathon, um, we'll be covering games as they come out, but also maybe more RPGs. I suppose by then as well, we'll probably have a bigger, um, an idea of who's, who our community is and stuff, who's came over from YouTube and things like that. Because if people want to play specific games together or something, we can do that as well. I wouldn't mind setting up one day a week to play an MMO with everyone, or some kind of multiplayer game. Right, I think we're done down here now. the only exit here. Do you have any ideas, um, Iron, for the stream? Anything that you'd like to see? Or anything that you'd like to jump on stream and play with us?
Okay, so if we collect full collections, then we get more, more sparkling by the sounds of it. Yeah, I don't know, maybe um, Final Fantasy XIV or Minecraft or something maybe that is a community we could community we could all play together so how long have we got left of the day we've got a bit left Let's um, quickly try and wrap up a couple of things before the time runs out. And if we've got enough icy dudes tomorrow when we come out, we'll um, we'll bring 30 icy dudes and freeze that lake, uh, that pond thing over there. those spicy potion things they think quite um I think quite common we should use them all the time I suppose but I'm not going to stream just upcoming games I'm definitely going to be my main um some new games there's something that I'm going to do because I want to try out new games as they come out but definitely RPGs, because um, that's one of the main series that I enjoy. But I'm quite, um, there's most genres I enjoy playing, so if we have people who are coming back to the stream all the time that want to see certain games, as long as the games I enjoy, I'll play games that other people would like to see for sure. It's only when it's games that I really don't like, um, I'm not going to play them because I've got to enjoy um, what I'm doing otherwise. I'll be even more boring for you guys to listen to, eh? Did, what kind of games were you, uh, were you hoping for? Okay, let's make our way back before we run out of time. Grab a few of the um, the seed things that um, Flyer was telling me about earlier on. The uh, pellets. games beside the new common games minecraft oh there you go now it's loading are those three guys gonna make it back where are they there they are how do we bring up the map anyway there we go come on guys Sorry, what were you saying? Let's have a look, Iron. Minecraft World would be nice, but I think you have to play. Yeah, I think Minecraft's cross-play. 
so I'd probably plug a keyboard and mouse into my PS5 or um, I mean my laptop should run Minecraft on Mac settings no problem it's just if you're streaming as well it can be a bit taxing but um, if there was people who enjoyed Minecraft we could get an interesting server set up it's it's quite easy to set a server up online I got a dedicated server but it all just depends on what people want to play and stuff you know but I definitely want to cover some um, cover RPGs. I like, I quite enjoy playing the Souls games as well, so I'll be covering those sorts of games every now and again. The next Mario, I wouldn't mind covering Mario as well. Obviously Zelda, but we're not going to see a Zelda for a good few years yet, I don't think. That 2D Mario could be fun in multiplayer, the new one that's coming out. Did anybody see how many players that new Mario was? Was it four or was it, did they say it was going to be even more than four this time? I wouldn't mind having a mess around in Animal Crossing. Maybe some MMOs and stuff here and there as well. Hyperdimension Neptune. I don't think I've heard of it. What, um, how would you describe it? What's the gameplay like? some more pop drive now so we can level up our doggo as well which is good beautiful But Dimension Neptune, is that a series? You know something that I could set up for the stream um, on your night? I could set up an um, OSR, like a, a bit of software that reads what's on the screen. And then I could plug that into Fina and she could read out the, um, the lines of dialogue. Take a little bit of setting up, but um, I used to use one for when I was studying Japanese. So they're stopping us from playing, are they? Now, do we play it again or do we play something else while we're waiting?
to the um, the people watching on YouTube. I will be streaming this for many, many hours when it's released. It comes out, um, I don't know which countries you're in, probably America, most of you, but um, I'll be playing it from a couple of hours before it comes out in New Zealand, so basically um, probably a day before it comes out in America, so if you're not worried about the small spoilers in a game like this, um, feel free to tune in, we'll be, like I say, I'll be doing probably... What I plan to do is have some pre-recorded footage for when I'm sleeping, so there'll probably be a, a stream running for 24 hours at least. And the majority of people that are watching, to be honest, there's 8 people watching on YouTube and there's about 9 or 10 people watching on Kick, so... Feel free to sub on Kick as well, and uh, there's quite a big community over there that's uh, big by my standards anyway. So, yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure what to play, because I normally would have gone back to playing Final Fantasy, but we've got quite a, people wa quite a few people watching right now, and I'm not sure what everyone enjoys. Um, enjoys. If it wouldn't get us in trouble, I would play the full game, but we've got to wait, unfortunately, or we'll get in trouble. Maybe what we should do is um, download Pikmin 3 or something like that. I don't play Pikmin Bloom or I'd send that over. I'm pretty sure this is only for the full game, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, what I think I might do actually is um, head out and get a head start on the full game so that as soon as the game goes live, we've got plenty of footage ready for everyone. I'm just going to sit and chat with everyone for a little while. Thanks for um, for hanging out, guys. And like I say, the, the stream will be back for many, many hours as soon as it's released. Let's have a look what time, um, what time it is in New Zealand. It's okay. So let's convert PDT to New Zealand time. So yeah, midnight in New Zealand is 5am Pacific time, so I'll be playing, um, I will be playing probably about 3am uh, Pacific time is when my stream will go live and it'll be active for like 24 hours if people are around. The Persona 3 remake, um, maybe, I don't know, the, the problem is at the minute I run, um, is that I'm trying to find games that I can also create YouTube content for because uh, my YouTube channel does make money and it is obvious obviously I'm doing this full time as a as a I'm here to obviously have a good time and have a good time with everyone else but uh, unless we're making money we can't keep doing this I'd have to go and work in a, as a chef again for a while which I don't want to do so anyway my, what I'm saying is I need to cover games that I can also cover on YouTube and um 
make make content for which is why I cover games that are new if I was to make guides for Persona 3 they've obviously all been made many years ago so there wouldn't be many views in that so yeah until the the stream is big and it's big enough to to warrant me just streaming all the time for everyone then we need to carry on making YouTube videos at the same time um I definitely want to play Persona 3, though maybe we'll squeeze that in, because Persona 4 and 5 are amazing games. My um, Both of my brothers played Persona 3 and said it was a very good game, but I haven't played it yet. If you finish the Diron. I would agree with you, Aaron, if it hadn't already been out, but I bet you if you search YouTube now, there's already a lot of tutorials with a lot of views. And the problem with that is, is that on YouTube, people tend to click on videos with the most views. So if you're sitting at the bottom of the... Plus, YouTube obviously advertises the, the videos with more views first. So let's say I make a guide on how to... I don't know, how to find a specific weapon on a certain day or something like that. Somebody would have already made that video and it'll already have many, many views. So if I make the video, it's just going to sit at the bottom and never get, never, um, it's never going to be seen and get any traction. So unless we're getting, you know, 20, 30, well, 50,000 views or something like that, unfortunately, YouTube, um, the, um, the pay for gaming channels is incredibly low, so you need a very high view content. When does the remake come out, anyway? viewers that have just walked into the channel um, we've just finished the demo but at around 3 a.m. Um, PDT time tomorrow I will be streaming the full game for about 24 hours maybe longer When does Persona 3 come out, Iron? What's up, Onion Knight? Early 2024, nice. I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to have a look at the new releases coming out because the majority of the content that I had lined up on the YouTube channel. Um, it's already been, I've already covered it. And obviously the um, the only one left of the list that I've got on my channel is Rebirth, which isn't coming out till 2024 either, is it? So, yeah, 
Yeah, Onion Knight. Well, what my plan is, is I'm going to play... I'm going to record the first eight hours. Um, because we're not... Obviously, if I get a hold of a... If, if I get a hold of my copy in advance, I can't... Um, I can't stream early. You're not allowed, obviously. Nintendo will come and... Nintendo ninjas will come and cut me down. So, if I record the first eight hours... Um, and then put that up to stream as I go to bed, which will be roughly when the game comes out. When I get up, the eight hours will be done, and then I can carry on the stream from there. I'll probably do 16 hours after that, so I'll be, yeah, 24 hours. And I would imagine with, with those 24 hours, I mean, I'm, I do like collecting in games, so I might not be finished, but we'll have done a fair amount. Um, and I'll be able to make some guides from there. I'm not sure, and because um, I want to get started on Pikmin um, on the recording. I might squeeze an hour of Final Fantasy in. I do need to take a break in a minute though and grab a, a cup of tea and a sandwich because we're getting to half one in the afternoon and I haven't eaten yet, so... Maybe I'll grab a sandwich and then um, we can squeeze an hour of Final Fantasy VII in before I close the stream. If you're going to be around anyway. Let me change the name of the stream so um, people aren't coming in hoping to see Pikmin when it's... Pikmin's not due for um, a few hours yet. Trying to remember where we were. We were at the Gold Saucer, I think, weren't we? No, we were in the, um, the desert prison. talking about Onion Knight? Are you talking about being around for the um, the 24-hour stream? If that's what you're talking about, there's no pressure, man. If you're around, you're around. If you're busy, you're busy. It's, it's absolutely no problem. I mean, the kind of people watching a Pikmin stream, I can't imagine there being any trouble in there while I'm sleeping. <laughs> so... Appreciate you um, being around for the for the modern on your night. It's never expected, but it's always appreciated. Final Fantasy 7 FINA logo. Um, I 
there it is. But yeah, um, I'll grab a, um, I just update the kickstream info, grab a quick sandwich and then, um, we can do a bit of Final Fantasy VII. Switch over to the break screen. I'll be back soon.
All right, I'm back. So let's have a look. This is the first time. Um, this is the first time I've streamed since I had to fix everything. So let me see how well this works. Where was I up to last time you were watching the um, Final Fantasy stream? Hey Psycho Cat, I've just had to um, okay your message. <laughs> YouTube didn't like it apparently. How's it going, man? Thanks on your night. So it seems to be working. Let's see if we can figure out how to get this set up on the new um on the new setup. Borderlands 3. Are you getting ready? Okay. Is it um Why is it out tomorrow? I thought it was out ages ago. I heard that is that not the one where she's um really edgy? Final Fantasy 7 not showing up. No, I know what you mean. I was the same with Harry Potter. Everyone's saying that you shouldn't play it because of what it apparently promotes, but that's... Yeah, it's not something I'm interested in. No, I am... Um, 
I've not, um, I've not fully looked into in a tiny Tina's whatever it is. The last time I heard the joke she was making, it didn't seem like my kind of humor, but I only heard it briefly, so for all I know, it could be funny. Ah, I got you, got you, cycle cat. But no, definitely, um, definitely don't let other people, I mean, clearly you don't, but I wouldn't let someone else's opinion stop me from, um, from playing a game, screw that. Try it this way, we'll copy this, we'll take this over here, paste it, and then we'll drag this down here. We're getting there. Yeah, I didn't expect to play 7 again for a little while, so I didn't have this set up in advance. I've got um, Halls of Torment set up ready to go, but... We switch this to scale to inner bounds. We're getting there. Now, ah, this has changed on its own. I see what's going on. It didn't save. Yeah, for sure, man. If you're um, if you're streaming when I'm around, I'll I'll definitely take a look and I'll have it open in the background lurking. <laughs> nice. The um, the Harry Potter game surprisingly good, actually. I had a, quite a bit of fun playing that game. It just got a bit easy, unfortunately, but it was it was good. Hang on, I think my mic's in the way. There we go. Is that good? How are we looking? Let's see. That looks about right, doesn't it? Now, let's take the PlayStation controller from the Switch and give it back to my PC. How is the um, game volume? It probably isn't even coming through, is it? I didn't think of that. I'm trying to think of the last time I saw the Harry Potter movie, the original, or oh, any of them actually, come to think of it. So if we take the audio from, yeah, let's do it that way. And we go to we 
we go here and then we switch back to the uh, game audio now. Okay, how is that? Uh, how is that game volume now? <laughs> the mental hospital there. Right? That's probably not the the right kind of thing to be watching in a place like that, is it? I've not um I've not seen Fantastic Beasts. How was it? You can hear it, but is it is it good volume? Too quiet or what? Okay, let me just adjust the um, adjust the image for a quick second, and then we'll get started. Um, it's a little bit too quiet, or it's a little bit too loud. Why have we got a black line at the bottom of the Final Fantasy VII window, and then when we cut some off, we get more of a black line? Okay, I see why. Done. Um, I haven't touched the uh, game volume. Since you since you mentioned it, you're saying it's a little loud, psycho cat. Let me switch back so you can actually hear it. I don't want it to be super quiet. Uh, I still want it to be a decent volume. still there. Nice, okay. Let me grab, um, sorry, when I say, um, I when I'm talking to the, the guy who watches me on YouTube, he's a Japanese dude. That's good, Psycho, yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> I was probably just talking a little quiet before, to be honest. Now I just need to set up my controller again. Yeah, it's probably me. Like I say, psycho cat. I um, I tend to speak quite quiet, and then I've got to remind myself to speak up again. Not you on your night. Someone called Iron. I mean, if he's got... Oh, the main reason I clicked on 7 was because uh, I know he'd been watching my streams. I probably would have just opened up um, Metroid or something for an hour before I closed the stream. Come on, controller, show up. Oh, I know why it's not showing up. I should probably start playing the Switch with my PS4 controller, really, and keep my 5 controller for the PC. Yeah, I am. 
the reason I'm having to mess around with my stream cycle cat is just because uh, last night I was changing some stuff and I accidentally deleted uh, my entire setup. Uh, why have you got a black bounding box at the top? I guess that's just the way Final Fantasy VII displays menus. That sucks. I planned to, um... I planned to farm some... some Fury Rings to sell. But I didn't get around to it. Mm, do we want Eris or do we want... No, we'll just stay with Eris for now. Cycle Cat, you and Onion Knight, have either of you ever tried, um, probably not, but have either of you ever tried streaming a recorded video whilst recording another video? Just accidentally attack everyone with ours. Right, okay, we're reloading. I'm not, I'm not losing all that MP for for nothing. Annoying. Ah, okay. Just because that's my plan for tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. Um, this is annoying, but we'll quickly do that because I'm not going in with no man. I was just because I clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, because I can't stream Pikmin early, obviously, because of the NDA, the, um, the rules for, for streaming before the game comes out, but I'll be asleep when it's released, so I think I'm gonna do an eight hour recorder and then stream that as, as the game releases and then carry on from there. Forgot to use a tent this time. Beautiful. We're going back. When are you streaming? It's like Lucas. Just go and fight dying without any um Ah, oh, perfect. Never mind, I'll scrap what I just said.
Beautiful. See what these guys morph into. You little. F YouTube chat's broke, has it? Thanks for letting me know, man. So broken that part with YouTube. Hey Psycho Cat, you've been chatting away and I haven't seen any of your messages, man. Yeah, yeah, you with regards to the uh, losing motivation. I've nearly done that already myself in the last couple of weeks because uh, obviously my YouTube is doing quite well. Yeah, I know what you mean. Zigba, it's... Uh, it's pretty frustrating, like, it's pretty bad. But I mean, th it's not even just that, is it? Psycho Cat's chats haven't been coming through at all for the last couple of chats. Thing is though, we can't really blame YouTube. It's not YouTube, is it? It's the, it's the chatbot. Hey, I wonder, I was thinking now, what, who's this guy just showing up out of the blue saving the day? Cool. Well, in that case, um, I'll keep YouTube chat open on the side and I'll keep an eye on it just in case anybody else says anything. But I won't worry about fixing the bot. I'll focus more on just playing the game and chilling. That's decent, but I'm not going to waste my time on that. Probably should have kept Big Shot for dying. Oh, well. well, the funny thing is, as well, is I've got um, YouTube set up as the primary. The kick setup was the secondary. So you'd think that it would be the other way around when it comes to latency. Um, do... I don't know if we're going to actually fight Dain in this mod right now or if it's going to be somebody else. Your onboard capture card doesn't allow for kick. I don't understand. How does that even... How does that even work? I'm confused, mate. Sound coming through one second. What's going on here? Yeah. I didn't, um, I was lurking in someone else's stream and I had it open quietly in the background. I was, uh, frustrating. Yeah, what I was gonna say before is I don't know if this is gonna play out. <coughs> Sorry, if this, I don't know if this is gonna play out like it normally does. So, but we'll give Barrett enemy skill just in case. We don't want to miss out on any spells. Mm, 
might even see Zack here. Okay, but you don't need to use that software though. I mean, I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card, but I use OBS. Don't worry about using NVIDIA's software. They say they had nothing to steal. Platinum bangle, okay. Nice. Try more from one of these guys as well. One kid laptop, laptop should be good, man, unless it's like 10 years old. Or you, are you talking about gaming on the laptop on a high-end game and streaming? Because if that's the case, I get it. I guess this isn't the point where we see Zack. I reckon mine's um mine's probably like five years old. Um it's worth a little bit more than that I suppose, but I could stream a, a new game, probably a medium settings. I'd probably have to scale it down to seven twenty P I would imagine though. Yeah, I'm gaming on console, so it's not... If you were gaming on the Switch or something, it wouldn't really be a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it's quite limited in that, though, isn't it, in a way? Yeah, man. Enjoy. Let's go. Shit, I should have put the steel in there. Uh, gear on Barrett. This could take a while. Alright, never mind. I wasn't 
so good here. Yeah, it's a good track, though, isn't it? Gotta turn it on when this comes on. I don't have sense either, unfortunately. I should have also brought in the ability to morph shit. I'm done. He's a human though, so you shouldn't be able to morph him. Talking about the um, when you see remastered, do you mean when somebody's added their own soundtrack to the game? Because this is the Steam version, but um, it's modded so it plays the music from the PlayStation. Of course, but I'm not listening to that MIDI crap. I think they fixed that though. If that's what you're talking about. The 2012 edition had the MIDI, but they updated it um, five years ago or something. I think if I remember correctly. I know that people do advertise their mods on Steam though, so we might be talking about the mod. Has he just sold me when I wasn't looking? Son of a bitch. I didn't bring any books. Clearly I wasn't thinking properly. Yeah, they, they fixed that, um, Psycho Cat. Yeah, it was horrible sounding. The PC version of all the Final Fantasies used to be terrible. Music-wise, anyway. Ha, ha, ha. 
it is a temporary thing until I finally one day get my uh, model finished uh, psycho cat but I'm glad it uh, I'm glad you like, you like it I'm more of an egg phoenix I, I need to be a square phoenix Um, the booba woman, but with the, um, hang on, I've still got it active, I was showing somebody earlier on. So, that's the booba woman, but the thing on her head, that's the square phoenix, that's who I'll be chatting as, but probably sat on top of the boobas, and the boobas will be moving while I move around, I'll be wobbling the boobas around, probably, I'd imagine. And it's finally done one day. I don't know if you were tabbed out there, you might not have even seen what I had on screen, but... That's been the plan all along, man, but... I've been waiting so many months for this to be finished that I'm, um, I think I'm just gonna force a refund through PayPal and find a different artist, to be honest. Which is a shame, because they, um... They did do some work on it, but they're just taking the piss now. Yeah, man, well, that's the whole... I was, I wanted to start streaming and um, using my own voice in my videos and stuff months and months ago, but I kept putting it off because I didn't have my model ready, and then eventually I just said screw it and started without a model, and now I'm an egg, a red egg with wings. It does have a beak, but I turned it off because it doesn't have much expression. It's the one I, well, I waited so long I turned into an egg. It's almost time to ride chocobos, well, to race chocobos. I always think that um, Esther was like a robot or something back in the day with the, the blurry the blurry TVs we used to play on. I don't know if you can use the uh, shoulder buttons to speed up a chocobo on the PC version. Yeah, 100% uh, Psycho Cat. He definitely looked smoother with that. You can still, um, you can emulate those lines, can't you? They'd look almost about right, but... I quite prefer, uh, these days I like the, the crisp, the more crisp images.
Yeah, for sure, man. If I um, if I didn't travel so much, I would buy a, uh, I would get a hold of a big old school CRT, a good quality one. There's the there's the Sony one that everybody buys. Um, I thought I remembered there being material in here. Maybe you come back for it later. Um, or maybe they moved it actually in this mod. Yeah, with the, um, when you watch the, um, people going to old school gaming shops and stuff and trading games, there's that silver Sony, um, old school CRT TV that everyone, everybody buys. Pardon and let me out of prison, you little mugs. We haven't been to the Gold Saucer remake yet, that's why, uh... That's why Psycho Cat... That should be in the next... This... This should definitely be in the next section. This is, um... Let's think... Where did it end? It, this, uh, yeah, we should definitely. This should be like halfway through the game, I would imagine, in um, in the next part. Part one of the remix, probably less than a third of the game, to be honest. But quite a bit less, to be honest. Yeah, it's going to be split into three parts. Um, but lots of the thing is with Midgar is it's a huge place, whereas lots of the other towns and cities you go to in the world are uh, they're quite small, so it shouldn't take too long for them to to flesh them out, I don't think. Also, you return to those places in the second and third part, so when we return to Midgar later on, they've already designed it all, so... Should be a lot less messing around for them um, on the development side of things. Did you play Crisis Core? Oh, they'll expand on them, but expanding on a village with seven houses versus a city which has eight cities within it or whatever it is. It's quite a quite a big difference, isn't it, between Midgar and Calm or whatever. They're not even close, are they, in, in terms of scope. Crisis goes good, man. If you, um, while you're waiting for part two to come out, you should definitely play it. If takes part just before seven so it gives you the backstory. It's pretty good. Clouds in it and stuff briefly but I've got my opinion now, haven't I? Beautiful. 
Yeah, but one medium town is like still like one percent of Midgar, isn't it? It's, it's not even close. But I hear you though. They'll definitely be bigger. Well, I don't know. The thing is, if you, if there wasn't any DLC, I would have guessed that you probably couldn't put more than 60 or 70 hours into that game without completing every single little thing. Um, so, but with the DLC, I wouldn't know. I'm going to say... I'm guessing high here because of the way you're saying it, of course, but 200 hours, maybe? See if we can head back a little bit and uh, go on a little white wing from the Zenzelets. 2,000? How do you put 2,000 hours in a game like that? What did you do? Just run around in circles in the desert. When I played it, there was like a few side quests and adamantoids to fight. That was about it. There was nothing in the game to do. I see what you mean. I thought you meant in one, in one save file. Okay. Well, I'm doing the, um, doing the marathon. I'm still doing it. I'm just slotting some games in here and there. So um, I'll be playing 15 again, unfortunately. So maybe with all the DLC and stuff, it would be slightly less terrible. I'll probably be able to stomach it better this time because I know what to expect when I'm going on. I think I was expecting a good game the first time, that's why it was so bad. Yeah, but the side quests were like, talk to this guy, drive to this other place, talk to this guy. It was, they were pretty boring side quests.
and upgrading a car to fly when there's nothing to do with the car it just seemed pointless to me. But again though, I'll give it another try. I'll give it another shot, another... I'll give it a fair go once we, um... Once the time comes when we get there. Look at this. This isn't what normally happens. battle system was boring for me mate so I didn't want to fight monsters I just wanted it to be over <laughs> um, everything just felt way too easy what's this creep doing to Tifa I don't know. I like, I, I like all battle systems as long as they have some depth, but I, I found on, um, you could hold one button to dodge every attack, that to me is not fun, like, I like um, well-timed dodges and well-timed counters, things like that, you know. I like to be challenged, like I used to spend thousands of hours playing Dark Souls and then suddenly I was playing 15, which... I kind of expect it to be more like how 16 was actually because when they showed off the combat it almost looked like Devil May Cry but then when we played it it was just... Well, it was what it was, wasn't it? 20 grand. Okay, we'll come back. In fact, don't we have some stuff to sell now? The kind of hack and slash that I don't really like is... Um, what are those games called? I don't remember. I haven't seen one played for so long. Um, you know, the games where you go around and it's usually set in like feudal China and you've got like a, a big stick and then you you, you swing your, your weapon and you take out like 20 guys at a time and you know, uh, challenges to get at the end of the level and take out like 500 people with your stick. It's uh, Those sorts of games don't interest me. It's they all just stand there looking at you rather than attacking you and stuff. What are those games called again? Well, I can't remember the name. They made a Zelda version of one as well, didn't they? The Heroes or something. No, not Heroes. Is he going to let us sail back? probably played one at some point. They're quite, it's quite a big series. It's been going since like the PS2 days. You run around as like a Chinese dude and then you, you kill war generals and hundreds of soldiers. Hi, oh, the Warriors games. That's what I'm talking of. Like Hyrule Warriors. Those sorts of games are dog shit. No, I understand, man. It's, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not attacking you. I'm attacking the game. Like, if you enjoy it, good for you. I'm sure there's games that I enjoy that other people will say are rubbish games. It's all personal preference. If you like bad games, you like bad games, you know what I mean? Yeah, Dynasty Warriors, that's the one. Mortal Shell, I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before on your night. Have you not played it? Have you not even, like, picked it up at all? To be fair, the last time I played a Dynasty Warrior game was PS2. Um, and it just seemed like brain dead, switch off, close your eyes and push buttons. I like it to be some, some level of thought in a game. And let's go to where did I want to go and then the next sector I'll do for me. I haven't really 
YouTube open and then this chatbot's spazzing out. Hopefully nobody's trying to chat on YouTube. I should probably take a look, shouldn't I? Aaron's back. Yeah, it's a good job I looked. Hi, Aaron. Sorry, man. Um, the YouTube chat isn't isn't pay isn't sending the chat over. Unfortunately, let me just we'll get a pop up chat going and then I'll be able to see. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's a good scene that they added Aaron, isn't it? There's loads of stuff like that that they've put in the game, like loads of extra little cutscenes and story and stuff. Nice touches. Oh, you, you tried it on Game Pass, I and mean, nice. I, um... I downloaded that um, thingy of P, I think I mentioned to you the other day. That um oh, that Souls game. Souls like game. But um that Pinocchio game. But I watched Asman playing it for a little while and it looked like it was dog shit in the end, I realised. <laughs> Alright, Psycho so Cat, have a good sleep. I'll um I'll be around streaming Pikmin and stuff if you're around. Give me a shout when you, um... When you do that stream you were thinking about, if you do, and I'll, I'll come take a look. I know you're probably, you're probably joking, but... Can't we just steal the high wind now? Go on, what's really dog shit? Left, I suppose, and then pay the guy at the door. It's all right, it came through, um, came through. Unless that's the punchline, is it? Gotten good if that was your punchline, bud. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, you, you got you got him. Uh... Psycho cat. <laughs> Look at this. Interior. We must have... Oh, I reloaded the file, didn't I? I can't believe we forgot to go back and pick that up. I think I, I, think I got it. You might have to explain it to me. See if we can get Whitewind. I don't know if they've removed it from the mod, but we'll see. They've moved it, uh, give it to a different enemy, maybe, but we'll see.
these um, these emojis are hard to, to make out what they are. I'm not used to kick emojis yet. You can use the uh, the usual Twitch ones, you know, they work. Yeah, yeah, the, um, there you go. Beautiful. Come on, give me a Zendula. Son of a bitch. Can you manipulate chocobos in this? I can if you can, I don't know. I'm guessing probably not. Or you could just cheat and get else. Oh, for suicide. Yeah, I don't remember any. I used to, um, I used to know quite a few like Frank and stuff, but I put that in the other day and nothing came up, so... I'm not really when it comes to, uh... Put your emojis. Hang on, what was that? Did we just get a, a new limit? Nah. Probably just some material leveling up, I suppose. I'm so that's on Last time we were all we got was them let's Catch you later, um, Tego Cat. Have a good sleep, man.
doing any decent damage to him when he's up there. how well this enemy away material works. It's mastered, so... Hopefully it's 100%. Grab Mighty God, I think. I do want to come back to these shops and buy um, buy all the stuff that we missed, but we need a solid way of making money first. If we could have got the uh, the sub early or something.
Sorry about that, just someone at the door I should have mentioned. Um, yeah, man, I agree, I mean, the music's nice and chill, isn't it? So, um, let's see. Let's go and get Mighty God if we can, and then we'll move on, I suppose. Oh, hang on, we've got the uh, Emmy Wing T round still, haven't we? Let's try that again. So we've got White Wind and Big God now, that's uh, it's gonna be a huge, I think. What's going on? Why are they casting ice on themselves? The AI bugged out or something. Country, country sounds. So if I've just still got those um those weird weapons on the zero attack, I'll have to have a look. Yep, zero attack, twenty-two attack.
probably should have bought more tents really, but we'll pick some up soon. Teaches you um, teaches you any any new skills. Interesting, new boss. Shit, I've got the, um, the weapon music as well. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty ugly. The squad became undead. Okay. Okay, 95k HP, got it. Let's try it. 
obvious now. Hopefully the flat's gone. But it's the antenna's barrier. No, it hasn't. Um, shit. I wonder how many casts the flat lasts for. Soft reset on this version of the game. So we're not going to use Big God then. <clears throat> not until we've got Reflect to cast on the enemy, so we can use like the double Reflect. Which will mean uh, heals will bounce back from us to them and then back again. Or maybe it only reflects once and then we'll have to cast it on them and it'll reflect back to us and avoid our reflect. Either way, we're good. Um, right, so let's try that again. this time as well. Okay, 
Okay. So we need to uh, defend against Duel, apparently. I know I've got at least one equip that defends against Duel. Cat's Bell, there's one. Um, that heals Duel. Maybe as soon as it is. Mm, we might have to use this sooner. It's quite a high magic cost, I think, but if that's all we've got. suppose because we've got other Aerith's limit break. Um, let's also give let's give Aerith First, apparently we didn't, so we don't have the limit break now when we first go into the battle. It could be wrong, maybe we were just there. Uh, that initial hit when he arrives in the battle, maybe that's all we need to trigger it. Um, what else do we need? We can use Q to kill those little guys. Set up the um, barrier with all. Oh. Let's go. Cool.
get away with a Yuffie attack. Is he about to use that dual crap as he looks like it? was probably zero, wasn't it? I forgot. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay. So hopefully we can uh, crit. What a surprise. It's bullshit. Is he dead? No, yet. Dead. Oh my, it's way too soon. Active, it looks like, doesn't it? Hang on, did we still not get rid of her duel? Does this unit not work? We forgot to equip her. Uh, we forgot to equip the one bit of gear. We've got one bit of gear that stops duel entirely, but we didn't equip it on anyone, which is dumb. Should we go for the heal? We should probably go for the damage. We'll save it.
Um, is this mod the mod that lets you play as Zack? I don't think you can play as Zack, but Zack's definitely in this mod. More than he is in the regular story, I mean, obviously. Um, you get to... I think there's some quests involved in Zack. I don't want to spoil it too much for when we get there, because I think it's going to be quite, quite good. This is gonna take quite a while. So, before she's uh, petrified. Uh, new passive does loads of damage and you start using it more. Sorry, they can be involved in the good stuff. Thank you. 
of magic and two weapons with zero damage on so it's my own fault. Like, would have been nowhere near as hard as this if I actually prepared probably. And we can't risk using my limit because we might kill him when I want to morph him, so something good.
Ring. Okay, nice. Are we both dead? What's gonna happen now? <laughs> um, is the game gonna crash? I don't want to click. I'm scared to click. I don't even know what, what's gonna happen now. Okay, we link here too. Okay, so the game remembered how much HP we had before the... That's good, because that would have been a pretty big crash. Wait, how much AP did we get for that then? If we just got a... I really don't want to miss out on all that AP. Um, uh, screw it. I'm not doing that crap again. I mean, we've got cure 2 now, it's going to be really useful. We need to make sure we definitely got um, normal material with, with here if we've got cure 2. Um, what did I just do? Am I done? Okay, there we go. So we've got two cure twos now, and she's got a weapon which replenishes her MP, so... Nice. Alright, is there anything in here for us, or is it just that battle? I think it's just doing mana damage. It's a shame. So it's useful, but it's not nowhere near as useful as I thought it was. How much HP has this guy got? Three and a half thousand. Let me have a look at that curse ring because. 250? Oh yeah, I haven't changed weapons either. For After this battle, we'll change weapons. Um, we need to have a look at that curse ring because if, it's, if I remember correctly, the old version of the curse ring gives you like 50 stats. All the same now, this mod lots of weapons give you like tons of stats now, so it's not that big deal. I think it was something like boosts your stats incredibly high. But as soon as you enter the battle, you've got a 60 second timer above your head for death, or something like that. Did we manage to steal from this guy yet? I don't think we did. Okay, I probably shouldn't have learned. I just realised, is this... This is boss music it's playing, isn't it? No, oh, no, maybe not, maybe I'm being dumb. Yeah, it's just the vibe in the music, isn't it? Or oh, is it? I'm so confused now after hearing that, uh, That music before that was playing the, um... The weapon music.
100% after this battle, we're gonna put some offensive magic on and take these, these uh, low damage weapons off, because uh, let's make these battles last for way too long. Um, let's go for Sea Evil, try and get some damage. Maybe stop him if we're lucky. Stop. Okay, we already took the weapon. Uh, it doesn't look like you can manipulate any trial plenty of times. How much HP has he got? 8, 6, 7, okay. We definitely want to morph him, so... Eh, Cloud's dead. Do it again, beautiful. Let's go to town. Why well, can't I help? Okay. Let's heal up and finish this guy off. Bit of extra mana, and we'll heal up with the Aerith. bit of damage. Um, the morph's only going to do like eight damage or something, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that was wrong. She had that stole from earlier on. That sucks. Oh well, we, uh, we stole something and he's dead at least. Let's put some decent material and gear on so if we have that fight again we can just kill him. Yeah, he's got a fair bit of HP, hasn't he? Um, um, but I'm going to put some good gear on now, so it should just be a, should be a walk in the park when we fight him properly. Let's go with the uh, hard edge and put on some. Uh, she's got enemy skills, so she doesn't need any magic. We'll give Cloud and Aerith some lightning for now, I think, some bolts. I kinda want all of this on, let's just get rid of steel for now, because we won't really steal on the Yuffie these days. Now that she's got that, um... Gear that helps steal. Alright, um... That'll do. I don't think there's anything up here. Is it gonna be another tank? Yeah. It should be much quicker now though. Before he kills her, save some time. Nice. She can give us some more MP. 
with a limit break. And we can do a chunk of damage and try morphing him. I would imagine these morph into a bit of gear, probably. Something pretty good, I would imagine. Okay. And then after this battle, after we morph this guy, we'll, um, we'll put the enemy away material and then we explore so we don't get any more battles. I think we fought enough of these guys already. Magic damage is beautiful. Much HP, 589, okay. to increase our morph. What started is that you use to increase your morph how much speed things up when you're morphing enemies. Remember there used to be uh, something you could use on your feet which made your morph go up to thousands of damage but I think it was uh, maybe a bit of gear that hadn't been coded properly or something so maybe that's been taken out in this mod. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, this should be the one. Let's see what he, what he turns into. We might have had them for a while to be honest, so it's not that great, but at least we know. Gold armlets, strength and magic for yeah, I'm pretty sure we've had one of these before. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So they changed it so we can't reach Gongaga at this point in the story anymore. I think maybe, um, unless maybe you, I thought in the original you could come to Gongaga immediately. I could be wrong, but um, maybe they fenced it off for now so you can do it as part of a quest later on. Seeing as Zack is in this game, maybe they don't want you going to Gongaga early. Yeah, okay, you turn this way, don't you? My memory's so bad. Okay. Eh, uh, Ford Condor to help. Nah. Added cuts? If we add that to Death Blow, we can make a double cut for free, I suppose. Um, I might do that in a minute, actually. Yeah, the OG, well, I mean, this version's good as well, but the OG version, uh, Onion Knight, it's... It's an amazing game, like... Let me, um, shall we take off a sooner, because we don't need that anymore. And let me take off. We'll keep enemy away on for now. 
and we'll put it on we'll put it on Yuffie. And that gives us um Okay, that gives us slots now, so we can put, if we put death blow. We've added cuts. We should have a double attack now. We'll see. We really need to find somewhere we can farm some good stuff, some good stuff to sell for girl. Uh, Mystify, we'll take one. Luck plus 40, that's pretty good. Um, Yeah, uh, we'll just leave it. We know where they are if we need one later. Money is so hard to come by in this um, in this mod. He's a chirpy fella. I imagine you um, walked up to someone and the first thing they say to you is... A lot of people died during an explosion. Alright, cheers mate. Thanks for, thanks for that info. Shows how long since I've played this game because I thought that Zach's house was back here somewhere, but I don't see it. Do we need to have air? In fact, we have everything in our party, so. What just happened there? Okay, anyway. I guess we, uh, in this mod, you're supposed to come back here at a specific time for the, um, for the story. Let's get out of here.
Um, I wonder if you can still fight frogs here and learn frog song. Let's have a look. Before we move on. MP did increase that time. I'm so confused about how this uh, weapon works. And that time it didn't. So maybe you can only use it, um, maybe you only get back MP once per battle, so it's not overpowered. I suppose that makes sense. So it would double the morph damage. Or if it would just be a morph followed by an attack, it would kill them. We're gonna have to try that out. Remedies? Okay. I don't know how much remedies are worth, but they're quite rare, so they could be worth a bit of money. Let's um, swap this morph out for um, this death blow and see, see how it works. a little house in the distance. I can't remember if that's the um, that's the house with the guy where you can take him some mithril and he'll give you something. Yeah, good night, I mean night. Oh yeah, um, I'll catch you tomorrow if you're around, bud. Tomorrow I'm going to be pre-recording my stuff for um, the game coming out, so I probably won't be streaming tomorrow. If I am, it'll just be for a short while. Uh, added cut and see if it works the way we want it to. No, unfortunately not. With a try on. I suppose you, um... 
I suppose the um, the frogs that used to be uh, gone now. That's what it seems like. I'll try one more battle. If we'll just kill them quickly and then leave if it's not frogs. Then we're gonna go and see the old man and see whether he still does the whole mythic thing. All right, no frogs. This is this is better than we get out. Around so we can dip out quickly without any bowl. Also. Does anybody remember where this cave was? Just out of interest. think it was round here but we can have a look. I'm pretty sure it was um, it was before you go over to um, Cosmo Canyon and stuff so I don't see I don't see how we could how it could be further than where we are now. Hmm are we sure it was um it was before Cosmo Canyon because you can reach it in the buggy, that's what I thought, but I suppose we can come back later. I don't think the reward was that great anyway, but still. Is it here? There's a glitch that the speedrunners use here where you can just 
Or is it moving forward? Where you can just step off your buggy and uh, skip the entirety of Cosmo Canyon, but we're not going to do that. Let's go into Cosmo Canyon. Um, we'll start Cosmo Canyon off and then I think I'm going to have to go offline because I need to make a start on Pikmin. Um, and we're not allowed to stream that just yet, unfortunately. who seek to study the planet and share that knowledge with others. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look in the shops and stuff. I remember they used to have some pretty good stuff, yeah. In fact, don't you get like the Yoshi... Uh, do you get the Yoshi Yuki soon? I think maybe you get that around the time that um, Yuffie steals your, uh, your materia. Is that a turtle's paradise? Beautiful. Stands. again. We should probably try and pick some up. I wonder if you can still do the X-Potion trick on the, um, on the final boss down here. It'll be interesting to see. I think that means now we've got four, five, one, and two of Turtle Paradise. I can't remember if there's six or three in total, but we're getting there. Four slots. Okay, so the armaments are pretty good. The Tiger Fang Restore was for Tifa, okay. That weapon will go in 
increased Barret's damage and my damage by quite a bit. I think before we buy any though, we'll see if we can steal any in the cave when we help uh, Red 13. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head off and make a start on Pikmin so that um, when it releases tomorrow, what's the date today? Sorry for the music going off, I'm just tabbed out. Today is the 20th. Pikmin release dates. Pikmin 4 release date, 21st, hang on a minute, did I have the dates wrong? It comes out tonight at midnight, so much for getting an 8 hour head start, I should have started this a long time ago, hmm, okay, I'm going to head off and get started on Pikmin and in maybe 4, 5 or 6 hours I'll be back to to start streaming Pikmin 4, so if you guys are around, I'll see you then. If not, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you around soon. No, oh, I thought Pikmin was out tomorrow night. I screwed that one up. Are you still there, Iron?